Hello everyone, welcome to Cherry's Red Army's latest match day vlog, AFC Bournemouth to take on Hull City in the Championship and AFC Bournemouth are looking to bounce back after that loss last weekend against Luton and you would have said if you're looking for a team to bounce back against it would probably be the likes of Hull City or someone lower in the table but that has been teams that we've struggled to pick points up against this season and Hull City, they got their first win of 2022 and since November and that was against Blackburn after their takeover. So maybe they've had a mini bounce. But today is an opportunity, in my eyes, for Scott Parker just to maybe throw out the tactical handbook for a couple of games. And can we get on the front foot? Can we put five offensive attacking players higher up the pitch? And can we maybe have some convincing and exciting performances? Well, that's what I would like to see. Maybe a back four of Stacey, Meppen coming in for Cahill, Lloyd Kelly and Jay-Z hopefully with Lerma ahead. Then I want to see Mark Condes, Billing, Christy on the right. And Rogers got that goal last weekend. And maybe he needs to start at home from the start of the game where he'll have spaces to work with in a game that we should dominate. And do you know what? If Rogers plays poorly for 45 minutes and he doesn't cut the mustard, that for me tells us everything that we need to know. But at some point, we've got to put Morgan Rogers in this side, in a position at home where he should blossom if he has the talent to do so. And if you're not starting Morgan Rogers in a game like this, then I don't see the point in keeping him and maybe he needs to go back. So we'll see what happens at two o'clock when those lineups are released and maybe Dom Solanke. If he gets a brace today, he'll hit that 20-goal marker. But, yeah, exciting times ahead. Let's hope that we can get six points out of six in the next two games. We focus on Hull City, three o'clock kickoff, and we'll hopefully have some good action coming for you on this latest video. Make sure you hit that like button and those comments at the end. I feel it in my bones This pressure rocks me to my core All these eyes on me are so stone cold I'm so scared of what I can't control, can't control. I wanna feel like I'm strong enough to reach the peak. But this mountain only gets more steep. Yeah, it's already so hard to breathe, hard to breathe. Thinking about the time I've wasted, thinking that I'm too complacent. Everything's so complicated, I can't take it. I'm I'm trying to find my way before I leave this place Wondering if I'll be more than a memory If I go down in flames Club legend Tommy Elphick on the Legends Wall behind the Vitality Stadium and lineups are out. They've been released and it's not far away from what I personally was looking for. It's Travers in goal, back four of Jack Stacey. Chris Meppham comes in for Gay, Gay Cahill. I think that was required. Lloyd Kelly and Leif Davis at left back. Maybe comes too soon for John Zamora. That's fair enough. Lerma ahead of the back four and then it is Phil Billing. He is picked for this game so he got over those problems that he's having with potentially his knee. Mark Condes, Ryan Christie from the right and it's Jamal Lowe off the left and do you know what it should be Jamal Lowe to be fair but my point is that if you're not picking Morgan Rogers against Hull at home after scoring against Luton when are you ever going to pick him and when are we ever really going to know if he can cut the mustard but anyway that's my opinion Jamal Lowe should be in the starting lineup and he is and up top is Dom Solanke so do you know what it's not far away from what I was looking for it's an opportunity for us to get on the front foot can we release those chains that are on that front five ahead of Lerma and can we score a couple of goals in the first half and convincingly for maybe 90 minutes put a team away and set a precedence for the championship season from here on in as we go on away on the road after this game. But let's focus on this game. Let's get the win. And that's a good team. Let's just hope they approach the game when that whistle goes at three o'clock. I can't keep worrying my life away. I can't keep doubting every step I take I can't keep worrying I must be brave No more holding back I've got to learn to let go of the pain I'm gonna find my way And by suddenly Steve Fletcher's hands up
gone, it's Bournemouth nil, Hull City nil. Started the first three or four minutes pretty well, got on the front foot, had a corner, tried to press the back four or back three of Hull City. Um, and then it's all been sort of bursts and moments that we've had where we've been able to utilise that Billingham Marcondes ahead of Lerma, which is what we were looking for. And um, Marcondes hit the post, within a minute we won the ball back and got but we aren't pinning Hull City back for eight to 10 minutes and really putting them under pressure. That's something we need to change, but it's still nil-nil with 15 minutes of this first half to go. Bournemouth nil, Hull City nil, just outside the North Stand concourse. Uh, Half-time summary, Aaron? I think we've played quite well. You know, I mean, it's, we've been at games before where we haven't really, you know, been doing that much, but we've done a lot, I'd say a lot, apart from score. You know, we've moved the ball around, we've got in some good positions, keepers made a save, hit the post. Um, we've got into really good positions. It's just putting the ball in the back of the net and we're not being clinical enough. Um, I'd hope it doesn't come back to, to cost us. Is there an argument to say that we're just not playing larger spells when we're on the ball and I think we've had bursts and moments of two three minutes Marcondes has hit the post Christie's had a head of Dom slanky has got a shot away but we're for me not pinning whole city back for eight or nine minutes before we take our next breath and it allows them to set up defensively in those moments outside of those bursts yeah yeah I mean maybe it's kind of happening in waves isn't it but I think yeah I mean they haven't I mean Chavs hasn't had a save to make if I can remember um, so, you know, it's, it's just coming back. And the problem is we don't score early against a team like this. It's going to be harder and harder as the game goes on. They're going to start wasting more time than they already are and sit further and deeper. And we know we struggle against that. So that, getting that first early goal was so crucial and we didn't get it. But we've got to keep that, uh, we've got to keep that going. Um, I can't believe that a goal won't come second half. And if it doesn't, it's, you know, not winning this game would be really, really poor. So I'm sure second half, look, hopefully they'll get tired. They played on Wednesday night. Um, hopefully they'll get tired, but um, yeah, hopefully we can we can get something. Uh, Chris Meppen's already gone off. Uh, unfortunately, I thought he was doing all right, um, yeah. and he deserved his start. Um, any more changes? How, when would you wait for those changes? Rogers came off the bench against Luton and equalised. Yeah. Surely he's in confidence. Jamal Lowe's not offering too much at the moment. So um, how long would you leave it? I'll give it another you know 15, 20 minutes. I think. I think what Lowe's done a bit better than what Jaden Nancy's done. He's come a bit more central. Try to get close to Dom. I would be tempted not to not do a like for like, so it'd be very easy to bring Anthony on for a low, or, or you know, etc. Or Rogers. But I think if we're if we're not winning this game, with say 20 minutes, 25 minutes to go, you've got to gamble and go two up top. So maybe leave low on the pitch, put him up to Solanke, put Rogers on the left, um, and then you bring, you know, you obviously would probably bring Mark Condes off because you would leave Lerma and Billing as a two in midfield. You've got to try and gamble it. Um, yeah, Rogers might be confident, but does Anthony come on ahead of him? Probably, I'd say. Yeah. Score prediction. Ah. I said 2-0 before the game. I'm going to stick with 2-0. I, I think we'll get those goals. We'll find out.
know it was a frustrating first 10 15 as we come out of half time. Jayton Anthony's come on for Jamal Lowe. Jamal Lowe's really struggled in this game. He hasn't given us that natural whip. And uh, Anthony's come on, and already the tempo has changed. And maybe a penalty shout for Bournemouth. And with 20 minutes to go, we need to really, really go through the gears now. It's still nil nil. But we need to find a goal and take all three points in this game. Oh, City scored. Oh, City won. Bournemouth nil. Great finish, to be fair. Should have done better before it got to Hull City, though. And we've got 15 minutes to play with. I'm not going to lie. I did not see this coming. Full time whistle's gone then just outside the Vitality Stadium and uh, it's Bournemouth nil, Hull City one. Um, let's just firstly say that it was a very well taken goal for Hull City and do you know what? 75% of teams will come to the Vitality Stadium this season and they'll put in shifts like this and they will look to frustrate us and they'll play tactics and we have to deal with that and we have to accept it but for Bournemouth not scoring in two games against Hull City in the Championship is clearly not good enough. We had a few chances in the first half, Mark on this hit the post, Dom Solanke got a shot away and as I said earlier on in the vlog that we don't play for large spells, we play for little bursts, we have little waves, we play for two minutes, then we allow whole City to relax and then we play at a tempo that's perfect for the opposition, then we have another two minute burst and when we don't score that puts the pressure on and it was Preston all over again going in half time nil nil Hull City would have loved that and felt like they were in the game and early on in that second half you could feel the tension in the stadium Hull City had a corner and the referee didn't help certain situations and the, the tension really changed throughout the stadium and the pressure was on the clock was ticking down and the longer it went on the longer we hadn't scored panic setting in and fans are sitting there thinking why have we not scored against Hull City? Why are we not putting these types of teams away again? Lower down in the table, we can't get the job done. They scored the goal. Nine minutes were even added on at the end of the game. And for a team at home that's meant to be pushing for automatic promotion, I literally can't even register an attempt on goal of significance in that second half. Jamal Lowe came off, Rogers came on, nothing really changed. What's the point in having a player like Rogers here if he's not going to start in a game at home versus Hull City where he'll have spaces to work with? If that's the case, we need to be sending him back to Man City, in my opinion. We need to be going and getting a player that can play on that wide side, offer us assists, offer us skill, offer us creativity and potentially offering us a goal. And if that's the likes of Tom Lawrence, maybe we need to try and get a deal done like that. Also, Dom, again, every time the ball goes into him, he gets pressed, he gets powered, sometimes lack of support. I thought the formation was actually perfect because it allowed the likes of Marcondes and Billing to attack the box at times and make late dashes into the box but Billing not right again today for me looks like he's carrying his body around the pitch again and all round a difficult performance players came off formations 
didn't really work. Anything that Parker attempted to try, which I'm not even sure a lot happened in the end, but it, it, it didn't work. Um, and teams around us did win. And we've gone from being massive favourites of top two and potentially running away from it months ago to, well, playoffs, which was our initial thoughts before the league started. So... There we have it. I want to get your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think, whether you're watching the game on TV, streamed it, or whether you're in the stadium. You know, How do you feel about that first half, second half, not scoring against Hull City? And also, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, really appreciate it. We do kick on from here. We go again, and we'll be at Barnsley next week. Yeah, I'm looking forward to an 18-hour day in Barnsley. So um, we'll be there, so there will be another match day vlog and content that will come the week leading up to that game and as always if it's even just for me that you've checked out this video thank you very much hit the like button but from here the vitality stadium bournemouth nil whole city one until the next video we'll see you soon up cherries